Hi everyone, I am Matthijs de Stroper, Lead Product Manager at Soda. Today, I will walk you through a Soda Core and Soda CL product showcase. But before I do that, let me introduce you to Soda. At Soda, we try to bring everyone in a modern data team closer to the data so that they can find, analyze, and resolve their data issues before these have any downstream impact on the business. To make data reliable, you need to have a good picture of what good data looks like. And that picture needs input from your data engineers who are building up your data pipelines, as well as your analysts who are much more focused on the business and of course, automated input coming from machine learning. To define what good data looks like, engineers used to be the bottleneck. And that's why at Soda, we have created a bespoke user experience for both your data engineers and your data analysts using one and the same language called Soda Checks language. How does Soda help data teams get to reliable data? First of all, we help you in finding problems automatically by looking at some key quality characteristics of your data, such as the completeness or consistency. Next to that, we allow your data analysts, your data product managers or business analysts to align on the data expectations they have on top of the data that they're using to build any given data product, such as a report or machine learning model. Whenever any check is failing, we offer you capabilities to easily manage and keep track of those issues. Last, we allow you to easily collaborate with your data engineering teams by providing capabilities to them, which allow them to insert circuit breakers into your data pipelines, producing your data, so you can stop bad data from flowing through and prevent issues in the future. Here you can see a quick overview of Soda's architecture. At the bottom, you can see that Soda connects to several types of data sources, such as SQL accessible sources like Snowflake, BigQuery, Redshift, and many others, but also directly to Spark or Kafka. You can see that the connection to your data source either happens by our Soda agent or using our Soda open source tool called Soda Core. You can also see that Soda Cloud integrates very well within your ecosystem. We integrate with data catalogs to enhance the catalog experience by bringing active quality metadata. We integrate with BI tools, allowing you to report on the quality of your data. But we also integrate with your ticketing tools, such as Jira or ServiceNow, allowing you to easily manage your issues. And of course, we integrate with email and chat applications, allowing you to no notify the necessary stakeholders. Let's talk about Soda Core and Soda CL in a bit more detail. First of all, let me give you a quick overview of all the components of Soda. Soda Checks language, or Soda CL, allows both your data engineers and data analysts to be involved in setting up observability and quality checks. Soda Core is Soda's open source library built for your data engineers to allow them to enable in-pipeline data testing. And Soda Cloud is focused on the workflow to find, analyze, and resolve data issues before these have any downstream business impact. So that checks language, both covers machine learning and rule-based checks, is easily version controllable, is very quickly to learn by both your data analysts and data engineers, comes with many out-of-the-box check types, and even offers you check suggestions based upon profiling. What type of data issues does SodaCL cover? Here, you can find a brief overview, such as schema changes or inconsistencies over time, but also invalid or missing data. Next to that, SodaCL allows you to check for duplicates or verify whether your data was delivered on time. These are, of course, not all of the data issues that are covered by SodaCL. You can find all of them on docs.soda.io. But what is the objective of SodaCL? Of course, to run anywhere from ingestion to consumption, to treat data reliability as infrastructure, hence as code, to offer a simple language to support all types of checks out of the box, 
and of course a thriving user community. Let's now see Soda Core and Soda CL in action. As you can see on the left side of my screen, I have opened up my Mac terminal in which I have installed Soda Core's CLI version. Soda Core is also available as a Python library if you want to use Soda Core directly from within your Python code. To be able to start checking the quality of your data using Soda Core, first thing to do is to build up a configuration file in which you configure to which data sources you want to connect to. For the demo, we will be connecting to a Postgres database containing some retail data. We advise you to use system variables for any type of credentials to make sure that you don't expose those whenever you start version controlling these files into a Git solution. You could also see that I have enabled the Soda Cloud configuration option to make sure that my res results get pushed into Soda Cloud and that I can use Soda Cloud's additional capabilities such as reporting and notifications. You can easily connect to Soda Cloud via your API keys, which you can generate from within your Soda Cloud's profile. Next, we need to define what type of checks we want to execute. Here you can see that I have been building up a checks file using Soda CL. In this first piece, you can see that I want to make sure that for all data sets within this data source, which are prefixed with retail, that those data sets are not empty. I can do this by using it for each check. Specifically for the retail's order table, I want to be warned when anything in the schema changes. And more specifically, I want to receive a failing alert when any of the required columns are missing or when certain columns have a wrong column type. I also want to make sure that there are no duplicate orders and that the shipping address is always provided. It's also important to me that the provided payment methods are valid, so I can easily check those against the valid values list of debit card, PayPal, and cash. Last, I wanna make sure that the customer re referenced in a given order is actually a customer which exists in our customer's table. And I can do this easily via a re reference data check. Here I need to say that the values within the customer ID column of this retail's orders table must exist in the customer ID column of the retail customer table. For the retail's products table, I want to make sure that we have less than 5% of invalid product categories. You can also see here that I can easily define a valid values list. If you want to start executing a scan, you need to build up your command. To do so, we will be using the scan command. So we will be typing soda scan. For the purpose of the demo, I will enable the verbose option, making sure that we can see what is happening exactly. But this is of course optional. Next, we need to define our data source name. In this case, I will be using retail soda core. Next, we need to link to our configuration file. So we say dash C configuration file. And last, we of course need, need to point it to our checks file. Once we start executing this command, you will see that Soda Core will start reading our configuration and checks file, and that it will start translating all of the checks that we have built into a highly optimized SQL query and execute those against our data source. You can see that three checks have failed and that seven checks have passed. So we can see that um, actually not all customers that are referenced in a given order um, are actually existing in our customers table. We can also see that the shipping address is not always provided and that not all of the provided payment methods are valid. As you can see at the bottom, all of my results have now also been sent to Soda Cloud. If we navigate to Soda Cloud, we can see all of the data sets that are being monitored by Soda. I can easily filter down this list by selecting the data source that we have used before called Retail Soda Core. For any of those data sets, I can click on it to see some additional details, such as my check coverage, my health score, and an overview of all of my linked open incidents. At the bottom, I can see an overview of all of the checks that we have 
written using Soda CL. For any of those checks, I can click on it to see the history and view Soda Cloud's diagnostic information. If you want a full detailed tour of Soda Cloud, please watch our Soda Cloud demo video. As you have seen in the demo, Soda Core can easily connect to Soda Cloud. Soda Cloud allows you to gather insight from Soda's automated monitoring and profiling, review your dataset health and test coverage, manage your responsibilities and notifications, making sure the right stakeholders are notified. And of course, use Soda Cloud's diagnostic information to analyze check failures. Soda Cloud also offers a cloud editor, allowing your data consumers, like your data analysts that create reports, check data and write agreements with Soda CL in a self-serve manner within a low-code environment. Last, Soda Cloud offers incident management capabilities, allowing you to act upon an alert by creating a data incident, use Soda's diagnostic information to quickly analyze the root cause of the incident, and collaborate with all the necessary stakeholders to resolve the incident as fast as possible. Thanks for watching the Soda Core and Soda Checks Language product showcase. Here you can find a few follow up resources, such as our latest product release blogs, how you can sign up for a free trial account of Soda Cloud, where you can find our Soda Core open source tool, and if you would have any additional questions, you can reach out on our Soda Slack community. Thanks for watching.